Hello everyone, I'm Jehovah. Welcome back to Foundation. And in the last episode, we started our clothing line over here. and We expanded the village. That's still happening. The church is growing. Now I think it's time to start working on tools. So we're still hurting on population a little bit, but that doesn't stop us from actually building things. So let's go and we'll find the iron mine. Now you don't want to set it necessarily right on top of this. So what I'm going to do... I'm looking for the arrows here. Okay, so the arrow is just right in front. So let's go ahead and face them toward the iron. But over here, actually, let's put it right there on the road. There we go. And we'll just kind of do a star pattern <clears throat> of those guys around. Uh, let's see. Next thing is going to be coal huts. I need a couple of those. I'm going to put them right down here because this is going to be where we're going to be gathering. I'll turn it around so they're facing each other. This is where we're going to be gathering our wood supply. Right there. Okay, then we'll need to make a iron smelter. An iron smelter. Hmm, you know what? <clears throat> we need to go ahead and build our warehouse. So let's say the warehouse is right over here. That's going to kind of determine where everything else goes. It's a fairly large industrial area, so let's do them right there. It's not far to walk. Then we'll do our iron smelter. <clears throat> and we'll put those guys right up here. Facing out on the road. Just going to do one for now. And a blacksmith. <coughs> Excuse me. The blacksmith will kind of control the population build in this area. I don't want to get him too close to that guy. Let's just put him over here. Put him on the road out of town here. Wait till we get 200 gold. We got more people joining the village. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, we'll just, uh... Oh, wait, it's coming up. There we go. All right, so we'll let those guys build up. And we will start our industry. Hopefully we can stop buying tools and we can actually produce them. That'll save us some money, because we can, I think we can actually sell those as well. How are we doing over here? Looking good. Looking real good. So let's see how we're doing on sales of said clothing. Keep clicking on the people and not on the actual thing. Alright, we got zero clothes in stock. That's not great. And people are lacking for clothes. So I gotta get them over there. Not over here. Okay, we got a little bit in stock. See, people just go through clothing so quickly. All right, do we have full... Yeah, we got full transports there. Ugh, food's looking bad, too. All right, we definitely got some work to do here. Okay, I got my second tailor built, but I think I'm going to do something a little different for me. Oh, we got a guy asking for an audience. Bread? Not ready for bread yet. I'm going to build a tailor right in town. I'm going to do him right here. <clears throat> Let's spin him around. Because with all the gaps that they're leaving here, it just seems like they want you to build stuff right in town. Oh. Ran out of gold there. There you go. Plop him right there. That's about halfway between the two markets, so we'll see... We'll see if it's able to supply itself with enough 
stuffage from way over here. I got a feeling it will. But we shall see. Right now, cloth is looking good. We got 17 villagers who lack clothing. Well, we still got a 91% happiness rate, so not terrible. You can see these things are starting to come along over here. Continuing to build. All right, looks like my men are back from battle once again. And I get to pick a free zone. I tell you what, look at all this these berries over here. I'm gonna have to go this way. Right there. And, um, ooh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice. Let's take a, excuse me, look at this church. Let's add a couple flourishes to it. We'll go back to edit. Let's say put a cross on each one of these. Spin it this way. Hmm. It's not wanting it to spin any way I want to, so let's have to put it on how it desires it to be. The gargoyle in the front. Maybe that's cool. And another gargoyle on each side here. Very cool. So we'll start that construction. Alright, looks like we're got one coal hut up. Now the nut another one here. Do I have any villagers? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is this one filled too? Yeah, I'm gonna be making some coal. Burning some wood, cutting down some trees. That's what it's all about. I only got three guys in my mine right now. And I'm out of people again. <clears throat> but they're moving in. You can see the population is climbing. All right, so the tailor is complete. Let's see if I can get somebody in there. Yeah. And we'll see how he can keep up. I can be curious, because this will be nice. If I can start putting these buildings in the town, which seems logical. That's how it would have been in real life. All right, so let's go ahead and get some iron smelting up. Nope, we're out of villagers. Same old story. All right, we've got a blacksmith now. Both of those. Can I get more iron smelters? Nope. Oh, well, we got coal. We got iron ore. Just haven't produced a lot of iron yet. <clears throat> uh, and this means that I can free up this guy. Doesn't have to store tools anymore. Awesome. Oh, we got a new audience request here. What do you want? Bread? Nope, not ready for bread yet. I'm almost there, buddy. I'm almost there. Yeah, I just need to get a few more people, get that iron smelted up. Alright, we're definitely going to need another iron smelter. So. Iron smelter. Turn him toward the church there. Right at the corner. There we go. Because as you can see, we've got coal, we've got iron ore. Not a lot of iron. And this guy doing pretty well and if you look at the town here he's got 21 now and he's got 44 this is the key <clears throat> this is different than I've ever used or played games like this before usually you put your industry on the outside of town and make people go get it but in this case it looks like your people are able to travel the distance to get the stuff back into town and it's a lot more convenient for your traders to be at their post so they don't have to travel as far to get that stuff. And he's keeping up fairly well. How is our... Cloth is coming down. We got plenty of wool. So I'll tell you what. This might be a one-to-one -one ratio here. 
and six. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell you what we might do. Let's go ahead and do another weaver. Weaver hut. And I think I'm going to put him closer to town, too. His entry is right there. Let's go ahead and put him up here. So we have to wait till we get the gold. There we go. Put that guy right there. That puts him closer to town. That way this guy doesn't have to get as far. Man, you can really stretch these things out quite a bit. That is interesting. I like it. Alright, my weaver hut is ready. Do I have the people? No. Surprise, surprise. Oh, wait. There you go. Oh, that must mean some people moved in. I got to get some more iron smelters as well. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully this iron will start coming up. Tools are looking better. You know, with this new knowledge, I think these, uh... These granaries are too close. They are too close, so... I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a granary closer to town. Over in this area here. Put it across the street. Back where the original granary was. Huh. Surprise, surprise. Pop her right there. And then I'll delete this guy, <clears throat> and he'll just do fish. Because this guy's doing pretty good, though. I will admit that. How are we doing on sales? Yeah, I mean, he's got everything he needs. So that's good. My soldiers are back, so that means I'll have more stuff incoming. Let's go ahead and build this guy a berry. Food stall. More people joining the village. Food's doing okay. Clothes are okay. Nobody's hurting for anything. Excellent. Alright, so my soldiers are back, so I get to open some more land, and it's going to be this guy. And I'm going to do some extraction here, of course, because there's a lot of berries out here. Man, there's a lot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of lumber camps out here. already one there and let's just do do a couple gathering huts here I tell you they don't have to really be on top of it either these guys can walk a little bit let's go ahead and put two of them side by side and we'll see if that can't get the stuff to the granary okay so granary's open so this guy is going to take fish and berries for now. Give him two because I want to empty this guy. So empty stock on all of these. You can see the guy's leaving with the boxes now. So if I empty the stock on this guy, And then I can, uh, oh, he's empty already. <clears throat> oh, so is that one. Oh, it doesn't take long to empty the stock. It looks like they carry it all in one little, one little movement here. Boom, boom, yeah. Filled up. Okay, so that's good. Once we get that done, we'll close him down. That'll move those employees over here. Waiting for that 29 fish. There's a trader right there. I'm not that concerned with 29 fish, to be honest with you. Let's just go ahead and delete this guy. So now, this guy has to travel quite a ways to get over 
to here. I may have gone a little too far with them, but we'll see. Granary employees should go ahead and repopulate this guy. <clears throat> Unless there was another granary somewhere that had fewer. I could really do the same with him. Put him closer to town. Although he's getting used for sure. Let's leave him there for now. Please fill back up. No. I guess another granary needed employees. We'll go ahead and fill this up. Let's get some people in this gathering huts here. There we go. Can I fill them both? Nope. I at least got one. That's a start. Oh, we can also open this guy up. Selling berries. And don't have anybody. Let's see. I can take one of my charcoal burners. It's not bad, and he's close to home now. Because I have a fair bit of coal. Ooh, some iron, too. Nice. Once we beef up that population a little bit, I can start pouring more into tools. Can I sell tools yet? No, but if I open this trade route, I can. Here we go. Now I can sell tools, bread, and weapons. So that's good. Alright, this guy's complete, so I think I want to turn him into the Great Hall. So we'll turn this into the Treasury. Make this guy the Great Hall. And let's add to him, shall we? Let's see what we got here. A stone door. Bailiff office. Okay, I like this. Put this guy... Oh, he can be freestanding. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, I think I want to do that. So I'll do... Right behind the church. Get him up there. Let's give him a stone door. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. And then a tax office. Oh, I like that, so this is going to be more about here. Look at that. Um, ooh, that's nice. I'd like to connect it there, but it's snapping weird. That's cool. Let's make two tax offices here. There we go. Start that construction. And that will uh, give me some more splendor. So I can unlock that tax office. Got to have 50, so I'm quite a ways away still. Everything is going pretty well. This guy, zero and zero, but if you look at the markets, they're performing. He's got 12 in stock. He sold 69 clothes this week. And this one over here has sold three, but he's got 26 in stock, so... It's like the people in these upgraded buildings buy a lot more clothes. And how are my supplies doing? Still got wool, still got cloth. So yeah, that's working out for me. And also, if you'll notice, I've got a lot of tools, so I can actually start selling those. Let's look at this. Let's go trade resource instead of buying tools. Well, let's not get carried away. Let's just start there. To say no trade for now. And I'll change this to a hundred. So once that gets over a hundred, means I'm fully self-sufficient on tools. Yeah, everything is looking pretty good so far. <clears throat> I'm trying to let a little bit of this wood get cut out here. There we go. Gathering huts, how are we doing on berries and fish are looking okay there. Looking real good out here. Because they're just not being used as much. 
But it's a good backup, and it's not terribly far away from this market to go there. Still looking pretty good in fish. So, everything's coming up Millhouse. Alright, looks like the king wants some berries, huh? Yeah, give it to the people. There we go. Got ten more points up here. Trying to unlock this, but that's a splendor bonus. That trade bonus would be nice when I get up to 20. All right, the Lord's Manor is complete, so let's go the bailiff office. Let's make it a bailiff's office. And I can hire a bailiff. All right, and these are just gonna be treasuries. So let's see what the bailiff does here. <clears throat> Soldier training. I don't know what soldier training does, so that's kind of worthless right now. Happiness, less impacted by 13%. Hmm, that's not bad. Training speed increased. Well, I guess it's going to be happiness, huh? There we go. So that means things can be 13% crappier, and still people should be happy. I hope that's how that works. Uh, we're lacking housing, I tell you. Everything is looking pretty good right now. We don't have a lot of fish there. I wish I could get this thing to be more filled with goods. I really do. These out here on the outskirts are doing pretty good. They're doing damn good. <clears throat> it's almost like you need two of these guys in here. Well, it's hard to say. I mean, what's, how's he doing for... He's got plenty of berries, fish. Clothing not so good. Good, but yeah, he's got 13 now. This guy's got four clothes on him. And my... Okay, so now we're out of wool. And out of cloth. Okay, so you, it's starting to put a dent in it now. <clears throat> That's what I was waiting on. So, let's go over here. Let's make a couple more sheep farms. Right, we want to keep that wool stocked aplenty because this population's going up. I'm at 144 now, and they're going to start using more clothes. That's why I'm not just in a big hurry uh, to get out there and make these wheat farms. That's coming. It's coming soon. But I want to make sure that we're ready because weather's going to hit, and when it does, the food's going to get sucked out of us. And I don't need to be overextended when that happens. Looks like the king wants to give me some more land. I'll take it. Where would be a good area for wheat? I think the population's gonna go over here. Hmm, this might not be bad. Problem is there's a lot of trees there. I need to build some warehouses just to, uh, just to store lumber. That's what it looks like. Or I could just start letting them build houses out here. And that might just take care of itself. Decisions, decisions. All right, let's open... Man, there's so many good spots. We'll just open this one right here. There we go. <clears throat> I could probably do some wheat farms out there. So let's get down here. Get a farmer. Four sheep. This guy's building away here. There we go. Assign a villager. One, two, three, four sheep. And we'll see if that doesn't uh, help boost this wool back up. Okay, we've got plenty of clothes for now. All right, let's build another warehouse. Put this one over here somewhere. This will be for our logs. I'm just hesitant to build out this residential quite yet. I want to get these trees cut out more. But really, I'm kind of waiting to see if this storm's going to hit. 
All right, the envoy's back, and this time he wants fish, so I can give him that. And that gave me 20 for the trade bonus. Booyah, that'll be nice. All right, we've got 139 tools, so let's go ahead and open that trade up. So we're going to start selling above the value of 100. Nice. That is good. And polished stone is also selling. Okay. So what do we have? Let's see. I've got a lot of that guy, but not a lot of polished stone, so I think I'm selling that. Planks, I can't really tell. I could just be producing them very quickly. I do have two sawmills. It's hard to say. I mean, I've got some cash. And there doesn't really seem to be anywhere that tells me what I'm selling. Let's see, the budget. Um, trade income, 90 gold. Doesn't tell me what's being traded, but something. I pay 435 in territory tax. I don't know what general spending is. I didn't trade anything, so that's good. Looks like territory tax, maintenance cost. Wow, look at the maintenance. Yeah, and that's, I build a lot of stuff that doesn't have people in it, so I could probably save a little cash from there. But, uh, I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started a little bit. We're going to throw a well down somewhere in the middle. And we're going to build a market beside it. So, food stall. Right there. And that's the beginning, so let's go ahead and paint a little bit more residential. Let's scroll this down a bit. Let's take it from right here all the way down to that road. Yeah, that'll build me a few more houses without getting too out of control. Is that other warehouse done yet? Yes, it is. Oh, almost. Okay, this is all going to be wood. And hopefully, this will free up some of those lumber camps that are full of wood <clears throat> so that they can start chopping some more trees. But, guys, I think that's about all the time I have for this episode. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, maybe subscribe. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.